It's on. This is not the same outfit that I was wearing in the first video we made. Look, it's cute. Say and hi, Maddie's Maddie. still here, and we now have a new friend. We have a new friend if she wants to come and join us. I'm a friend. I'm eating food. This is our new friend. I'm eating the same thing. It's Renee. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. I, I'm trying to laugh. You liar. Ah, no. So, what are we going to do today, Brain? Brain? My name's Amanda. It's a quote from a TV show. I know. <laughs> We're gonna teach you some rifle stuff. Yeah, basic rifle. Crappity crap crap. Yay! Ooh, uh. I wish I could be- Ooh, uh. Ooh, uh. Mm. Uh. The first thing we're going to teach is going to be drop it a spins. You can either call them drop spins or just spins. So on the rifle, uh, this is your butt, this is your neck, this is the bolt, and the places where the strap uh, touches the rifle is called the clip. Or the swivel. You can call it swivels too. And this is the tip. Or nose. Just so when you start out, I love it. you're going to have your right hand in the neck and your left hand on the tip. This is called right flap. What's going to happen is you're going to start with your thumb actually wrapped around the neck. And when you count off, you're going to say five, six, five, six, seven. And you're going to move your thumb from wrapped around to just pressed behind the rifle, like Amanda's showing you. Five, six, five, six, seven. On eight, you're going to push the rifle to straight up and down. Your arm is going to be pressed to your side. Uh, you don't want it to be like claw hands like this. You don't want it to be out to the side. You don't. You want it to be flush to your side and pressed <laughs> against your hip. Your right arm, which is holding your rifle, is going to be at a 90 degree angle. It's going to be tucked into your body, and it's going to. Your forearm is going to be parallel to the ground, straight out. The rifle is going to be straight up and down. So from the beginning, five, six. Five, six, six seven, seven, push. Eight. On one, you're going to literally just flip the gun. You're just flipping it. The momentum of the tip will get it around. Don't wait until you're like right here and try to like push it out. Mm -hmm. Also, you let go of your hand when you get to this upper angle right here. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you from the front. Roll around. When she says roll around, it doesn't mean that it literally stays on your hand the whole time. Mm -hmm. You'll let go of the rifle and re-grab. If you try and keep your hand on the rifle the whole time, it'll roll down the gun like this. And you want to re-grab in the neck when you do it, not, not roll down into the bolts. When I first started, I had to think about pushing my hand back out to the side. So like, push. Mm -hmm. But don't like, like go reaching of for your the elbow. Booty. Reach for that butt. So one count from the beginning. Five, six, five, six, seven, push in one. All right, so that's one count. All you would have to do is keep the motion going to do multiple drop spins. So it would just be five, six, five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four, five, six, stop right here. 11. Whatever. So most people, whenever they start out with drop spins, they think grab squeeze and then squeeze and then squeeze. But you don't want to do that. You don't want it to be choppy, choppy, choppy. You want it to be one thing leads into another and it's all just one motion. This is not the right way to do it. <laughs> I'll get closer so you can see what I'm actually doing with my hand. See how it's opening and closing? That's you want to keep that taco sh shell, sh what a, I can't talk. A taco shape. Taco shell shape the entire time, so it just rolls in it. Basically how you keep the taco shape is, when you unwrap your thumb on seven, you continue to press your thumb on the back of the gun. You never re-wrap it around the rifle until you squeeze. Next thing we're going to show you is, is how one? to close for from oh. drop spins. So a close just means that you, instead of just stopping the drop spin straight up and down, you literally close at the other flat. So if this is right flat, this is left flat. And left flat, your hand is going to make like this 
really long taco shape, I guess. And you're going to cup the butt like this, but and this other hand is just going to touch the butt. In be, your... It's going to be in between the the nose clip and the the bolt, so it's going to be somewhere in that area right there. This is left flat. And your right hand on the butt, your pinky should be in line with the end of it. Yes. All right. So to get there from drop spins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What you would do is you would just kind of bring the rifle across your body like this, and you would literally throw it into the other hand. So just throw it that. Really hard. But don't catch up here. If you're not able to catch it, your hip bones, and you do catch up here, just push it down to your hip bone. So that that's what you want like to do. Renee just said a very good point over here on the side. Whenever you are going from the drop spins to the close, you want to literally think about throwing the rifle into the ground. So push down into the ground. Push it to the ground into your other hand. Boom. Lay do it. From the very beginning, we're going to do eight drop spins plus the close. Five and six. Eight drop spins and the push in one. Two, seven, eight, eight, five, nine, six, six, seven, nine. eight, and close. When you get to the close, typically whenever you're going for a, a toss, you're only gonna do two drop spins plus the close. All right, so we're just gonna do two drop spins plus a close now to show you what it would be like if you were to do drop spins for a toss. All right, five, six, five, six, seven, push in, one, two, and hit. So instead of saying close, you would say hit instead. So one, two, and hit. All right, when you get the hit, it's on count three. So one, two, count three. You're gonna hold three and and make sure you're really holding it. You don't wanna be like all over the rifle and all this mess. Yeah. Oh. You wanna make sure it's boom and you hold it. Now on four, right on four, not on three and and not on four and, you're going to come up to what is called the dip. So this is a quarter dip. When you get to the dip, you want your middle finger. Yeah, I know. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. You want your middle finger to be in line with your chin, like a cat is what I like to call it. So middle finger in line with your chin and your left wrist is gonna be next to your left hip bone. This should be your quarter dip and it's gonna be a shoulder hip angle. It should go through your collarbone down to your hip. Five. And six, six from the beginning. Five, six, six seven, seven, push in one, two, six, hit, lock. Uh, five, and uh -huh. six, one more time. Five, five six, six, seven, seven push in one, two, hit, lock. Now, when you're doing a toss for a single, all you're gonna do is you're gonna push down. And just like when you start a drop spin and your hand is flush to your side, you're gonna want this hand when you push on the butt to go flush on to flush. this side of your body. So push. And with your left hand, you're just going to flick your wrist, flick it, onto this upper angle right here. So when you get to this upper angle, this is your release point. This is where you're going to release the rifle. So boom, release point. Now me and Amanda are going to take a single together. Five and six. Five, six, seven, push in one, two, hit, lock, out, squeeze. Five and six, five, six, seven, push in one, two, hit, lock, out. Squeeze. By the way, we're going to backtrack cool. for just a minute here. I promise it won't take long. Okay, when you're getting set at this uh, right flat, you want to make sure that your elbow is pressed out and not where you're doing the drop spins. Yes. So you, on eight, that's when you start bringing it in. Now that we've got singles down, I'm going to show you left drop spins. To get ready for left drop spins, you just go to this left flat that we were talking about earlier. So when you get set up at this left, no drops. left flat, what you're going to do is you're going to push on the butt to straight up and down. So push to straight okay. up and down. Definitely. Now yeah. your right arm is going to be flush to your side and your left arm is going to be tucked into your, to your side and it's going to be parallel to the ground. So pretty much the same as when you push off the right side, it's now reversed and it's off the left side. And you should start with your thumb not wrapped. So there should be no count seven on left drop spin. So it shouldn't go five, six, seven. It should already be there. So five, six, seven. Five and six, five, six, seven, push eight. Now, same thing. For count one, you're just going to release the rifle and you're gonna let it roll 
one time. Now for these, I really just think that it takes a lot of practice because it took me forever to learn these. It, it is uncomfortable. Yeah. It is uncomfortable at first, but if you just keep practicing, it becomes less and less uncomfortable. Now I'm gonna do four of these for you, and that will be that. Five, six, five, six, seven, push in one, two, three, four. All right, now for the close, how you close for left drop spin is you do what you would do for a right drop spin. You push into the ground and you go to a right flat instead. So one, two, three, four, and right flat. Now it's gonna be hard to handle the rifle and manipulate it into your right hand, but you just have to really squeeze the rifle, the count before you close it to really get it to smoothly go into that right hand. You wanna guide it across your body and push into the ground. Boom. So those are drop spins off of the left and right side body. Wow, okay. With singles, what I'm gonna show you now is double time. Double time is something you do on rifle. It's like drop spins for eight counts instead of quarter counts. So instead of being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it would be one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Now you can, there are two ways that you can do this. The first one is called alternates, which is just with one hand. And the second one is called double time and it's with two hands. So alternates, all you do is you do one drop spin and then you flip it even more until you catch the bolt. So drop spin, bolt. <laughs> now what you're going to do is you're going to flip back over to a normal drop spin and then back over to a bolt. So they're called alternates because you're alternating between the neck of the rifle and the bolt of the rifle. So neck, bolt, neck, bolt, neck, bolt, neck, bolt. So those are alternates. Now to do double time, all you have to do is stick your left hand in between the up count of the rifle. So when the rifle is in the air between grabbing it with the right hand, you stick your left hand in and it'll look like this. Five, six, seven, eight, and squeeze. So that's double time. What you're gonna do is one drop spin. You'll catch on the underside of it. Now, you're going to flip it until the your hand is in between the nose clip and the bolt. So one drop spin, hand in between the nose clip and bolt. Now what you're going to do is you're going to flip it like this <laughs> until your right hand is on the other side of the nose clip and the bolt. So it'll be on top where the bolt is, but it will be in between the bolt and the nose clip. So drop spin between nose, and clip and, uh, nose clip and bolt and then between nose clip and bolt on the top. Now to finish it out, all you're going to do, do is counts. you're going to a whole two. hit the bolts, the actual bolts of the rifle is going to be in your left hand. Counts. And then, it's and then you're terrible. just going to come back to a normal drop spin. So it's normal drop spin between the nose clip and the bolt, nose clip and bolt on top of the rifle, the bolt, and then back to a normal drop spin. And there's a pattern wow. that you can say that will help you remember that in its belly, belly, top, top. Because you're hitting the belly of the rifle, the belly of the rifle, the top of the rifle, the top of the rifle, and then the belly. Fast, it's belly, belly, top, top, belly, belly, top, top, belly, belly, top, top, belly, belly, top, done. You can take it a step further into something called triple time. And all you have to do is you start out doing normal double time. So you do belly, belly, and then when it gets in your left hand, you're gonna let the rifle roll over your left hand and you're gonna do another belly. So it's belly, belly, belly. Then you're just gonna do normal double time again and it's going to be uh, in between the nose clip and the bolt on top of the rifle, the bolt, and then uh, back to a normal drop spin. So it's belly, 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 top, top, belly. That's all you're Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, it's like magic! Belly, 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 top, top, belly, 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 top, belly, belly, belly. <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna show you for this video is called singles. And yes, these are called singles. However, what this is called, this is called singles because it has the same rotation as a single, but it's a drop spin. So what happens is you do a normal drop spin and then you 
do another drop spin, but you add more height to it, so it rotates an extra time. Just normal drop spin, up high, catch again, and then up high, catch again, up high, catch again. Now, again, how you are going to achieve this is not by squeezing and then going again and squeezing and then going again and then squeezing. That would make it not only slow, but hard to rotate the rifle the necessary amount. You have to literally just tap it and keep it going. Let it just roll over your hand and that will keep the rifle's momentum going. Boom. All right, so that is the end of today's video. I'm, oh my gosh, that one was so easy. Here, I'll come up close and I'll so, share that my That was buffalo. rifle basics on how to do drop spins and a basic single toss on rifle, left drop spins, double time, both alternates and regular double time, triple time, wow. and then drop Join spin. Guard drop spin singles. Join guard. Don't get if discouraged you're... <laughs> if you're like having trouble right now. We've been doing this for four years. Well, I've yeah. only been doing it for two years now, but yeah. it is so fun. You need to join it. You'll get skinnier. No. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Renee comes up here and she's like, no. <laughs> it's super Not hard, but you should do it. Well, it's, yeah, it's fun. Okay. It's really fun. So, to, to end this video, we're going to do the handshake that we made up at band camp this year. If Amanda, you will join me, and if Renee, if yeah. you know the whole I thing, I think I know. It starts like. Yes. All right. You ready? Okay. Okay. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Da 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 da. I missed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> one more time. I know this one. <laughs> one more time. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. You ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Da 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 da. All right, bye guys. I was so good. Thank you for watching this video. You should go check out my channel. It's called Amanda Slay. I don't have a channel. Subscribe to her. I have put her link in the other video that y'all watched. So I'll be putting it in the the description down below. And Renee is poking me with the saber inside my pocket. This is, I, I feel violated. All right. Y'all should request more videos. <laughs> Stop do. it! They oh have yeah, Saber is next! Yes, so please leave some comments down below Saber. of what you want to see us do in the next video. Whether it be dance, rifle, Saber. We'll probably end up doing Saber basics next and Ooh, some yeah. rifle tosses as well. And then if you want to see us write some choreography to a certain song, we can do that too. Ooh, anything by Shawn Mendes. Uh, I got you. you. Ooh, or yeah. Choice of On. Really choice of On, please. All right, so just please leave some comments down below on topics that here, <laughs> on topics that um, you want to see us. <laughs> uh, okay, so leave some comments down below on some things that you want to see us do. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to her channel. Uh, click the like button to this video if you like it and go watch my other videos and like those too. Uh, watch her videos like those too. She's got a video on how to prepare for band camp and I'll put a link to that video right up here. Um, and yeah, so I think that's it for today. Don't click the dislike button. That hurts my feelings and I will like not like you. So, bye. Bye. Love you guys.